Hello everyone, I'm Matthew Sir so Summer Hex and welcome back to the Rampaging Rams, the FN22 beat save that's now ended. <laughs> this is a five year in a fact in a five year in the future um, video. Um of course if you missed the last episode go watch it. Uh, I'll be spoiling it in three, two, one. We did actually win the pro uh, the championship, not the Premier League. I would have liked to have won the Premier League, but hey. Uh, we won the championship with Derby in our third season, and yeah, now we retired our manager at the end of that episode. Um, we've had to create another one, of course, but uh, what we've done is we've just simmed five years in advance. The first of July, 2029. I'm going to see how good our team has actually gotten, or how bad it's actually gotten. What's happened to the players, what's happened to the staff, we'll see. So, first things first is to do this. Uh, actually no, but if you have been enjoying the series uh, and you're looking forward to this five year in advance in how we're doing, you can always like the video, um, subscribe to the channel for more FM22 content. We're doing a director of football um, journey man, where we can't sign any of the players or staff or any of that stuff, uh, and that is going to be taking part. Um, I think tomorrow, possibly the introduction video tomorrow. See how that does. Hopefully, you'll come and um, sub subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and like and share it with everybody and get uh, it coming across that people want to watch it because that'd be really cool. But uh, it looks like we're still in the Premier League, however, we of course in the first season finished 19 after getting the 12 point deduction that now could be 21 in real life, which is yeah. Um, Second season, of course, we finished seventh. The first, third season, we won it. In the season we weren't here, we got relegated straight away in 19th. So let's go to the Premier League. Uh, let's go to stages. And let's go to there. Uh, no, it's not that one. Yeah, this is this one. So in 2024 2025, we just barely missed out. Crystal Pass were awful. Um, it's actually lower than Derby's uh, record in the Premier League. I think it is, you know. Then we got 12, don't we? Well, Crystal Palace only got 11. Like, yikes. Really poor by that. Got more wins, though, I think. Um, but yeah, we finished 19th on the first season back in the Premier League. 33 points. Unfortunately, we didn't do any good. Uh, could have just missed that, you could say, by three points. Uh, a few more wins, we would have stayed up. Second season, in, second season we were gone. Uh, we got promoted through the playoffs. So, we finished third on goal difference. And got through the playoffs. So, that's good that, because we were lost on goal difference, we didn't lose the game in the playoffs. So, that's good. So we were promoted again into the Premier League. Um, and the next season after that, we just survived relegation. Just survived it. Crystal Palace went down, Brighton went down, Sheffield United went down. Um, we survived by point. So, really, last minute gasp win are probably sealed our victory and got us safe. The season after that, a bit better, we finished 16th. Still at only two points outside of the relegation zone, but better. Um, Man City won that league. Um, Newcastle still not getting quite gold. Fulham did well. In the last season after that, we finished 16th again. Uh, nowhere near relegation this time, you could say. We we're quite comfortably away. And so, yeah, so. We've been lower mid-table in the relegation zone fighting for it, but we survived for the past few years. Um, past three years, we've survived 17th, 16th and 16th again. In terms of managers, let's see that. So, of course, Wayne Wooney um, was the original manager. He's currently... He was with Cardiff eventually in 2022. I remember that because he was really unhappy with me. We were having a go at each other when we were managing Derby. Uh, after that, he was sacked um, within not even 
managed him for a year and went to Lincoln and since for the past five years he's not been with the club. So not a very good career for Wayne Rooney and he probably will retire as soon as it's five years and he hasn't had a club yet. We of course um, will retire from management and then it's Ralph Hasselhuttle. Hassan Hassel. He left Southampton in 2022. He joined right after us. And he kept got relegated first season and stayed with them and survived three seasons in a row. Good work, Ralph Hassan Hassel. Really good work. Five years now he's been with the club. Dead on five years. Which is good to see. In terms of transfers, let's see what we've done. So, of course, the first season, these were our signings. These were also all our signings. Uh, you can pause the video and look at them if you want. Um, but you should really watch the video if you want, uh, if you need to. So, uh, of course, we sold Taylor Moore last... I forgot to say that. <laughs> I forgot to say that last episode. We kind of sold Taylor Moore on the, before the... When we were before we ever got a chance to, so he of course was sold to Seattle Sounders, then went to Brentford, and then went to Barnsley, where he's been in the Championship. Alright, okay. So, release players for the next season. Ashley Richards. Um, he was player was no good. Um, all the rest were youth players. In terms of transfers, we brought in this guy, Lewis Hall, who was apparently a youngster back at that time. Pedro de la Vega, um, who was a loan offer from Arsenal. And Thomas Oegian, who was just a midfielder from AZ Alkmaar. In terms of l- things we did last, the first season we out, we loaned out Ellen Cashin. We of course sold Kelly Roos, so that was me. We loaned out Melly Quilks and Corner McDonald again. Max Bardwell, Lathan Kirk, and Luke Plange went on loan. Jonathan Mungi was sold to Inter Milan. I was going to sell him anyway uh, when we did have him. Um, we of course got him in on a free, where he had a good season with us in the first season. Second season, he ended up going to Portsmouth. We had a good season in the Championship, and then it, it, last season, the season after that, when we, it was with us, when we left, he would he would just one game play time. He wasn't good enough. Jack Stretton was apparently sold to Portsmouth, which is sad to see. Uh, he went to Portsmouth for six hundred and seventy-five k. After not getting that good in the past in the Premier League, he, uh, he, he did decent enough for the Premier League for his quality, but. In January, probably we sold him to Portsmouth, uh, who ended up selling to Reading, who ended up selling him to QPR. So that is Jackson. Did he ever get a Scottish cap? Um, he got six. He's had six Scottish caps. That's good to see. He was loaned out this guy to Dan Robertson. And we apparently sold Dishon Bernard, who I can understand selling him. He got a profit. Sold him to Swansea. For a few million, a couple million, and that was a good deal, I think. Uh, in terms of the next season, plays that went on a free. Nathan Byrne left, Festo Baselli, Cashin, McDonald, Thompson, Agastasi, Bardo, Solomon, Good. Good probably deserved it. Yeah, he. he we signed for 105k from Brentford, and then he ended up. Getting injured um, with a, for like nine months, and so hardly only played two games for us. One actually in the Premier League, which must have been off the sub bench, I would assume. Yeah, off the sub bench. So he ended up going on a free to Rochdale the next season, and then he's come to Chesterfield in League Two. So he was a bit of a flop. Well, then he would have been better if he hadn't got injured so severely, because that really hampered his progression. And all the others were youngsters. Uh, in terms of transfers, um, some youngsters, I would assume. Uh, Danny Ndoye. Pedro de la Vega actually joined from Arsenal. So he must have been joined on loan and then we had an option to buy. So we ended up spending £114 million that season. 
which was the season in the championship. Um, just a load of players coming in for... Oh, we actually signed Rodrigo Muniz. Actually amazing. So, of course, Rodrigo Muniz. Um, we got him on loan uh, in the second season. Um, with, uh, and he was amazing. So we loaned him again the third season. And then when I left, I decided to get him in on loan again just for the man next manager. And he ended up doing quite well. And in the end, that manager, Ralph Hasselhoff, ended up buying him. And he's been quite decent in the Premier League. Getting quite a lot of goals. He's got one under 20 cap, but he's never got an actual Brazilian cap, which is unfortunate. But he probably isn't good enough for Brazil. Uh, any more signings that might be good? Uh, Rob Holding from Al Jazeera. So he was with Arsenal, of course. Then he went to Leicester, the Al Jazeera in UAE, and then he went to Derby for a load of money. A load of money. He's now with Getafe. In terms of sales, we ended up letting Kristen Bielik go on a free with Mali Quilks as well. Uh, oh, Zabel was sold for 44k. Is he still playing? No, he's a goalkeeping coach. But he was playing until this year. <laughs> wow. So, we of course signed for 750k away. He got two good seasons with us. Then we got Backman, who was our main goalkeeper. Uh, we ended up signing the next year when we were in the championship and got relegated with Terrell Oviedo when he ended up going to Minan Mirandes and he retired this year. Okay, so he retired at 39. Good career for him, man. We did also sell Daniel Backman in the end. He hasn't got any more Aust Austrian caps, unfortunately. But we sold him to Red Bull Salzburg where he was, must have been back up. And he's gone to Bournemouth, where he didn't play once. And he's gone to Sheffield Wednesday, where he played a bit, but not a lot. Um, we've probably sold Lieb Can for 16.75 million. That's a good deal. It's a very good deal, seeing as he's never played for them much. And then he ended up going to Crystal Palace and also never playing. So we got a good deal in that, <laughs> I would say. Even though he could have been good enough for us. Vissel was loaned out to CSK Moscow. Courtney Clark, he was a youngster that was only could have been good. Um, loaned, so probably sold these two people. Malan Romeo, I don't think he was our player. No. He was a longer time ago. After us, we left, at least. Uh, next season after that. So if this is boring, but... I was just fascinated to see how well the teams, you know, actually did. So no one probably been loaned out, been released. Um, in terms of sales, but met people signing. We had to buy him Sean Longstaff. Now that is quite cool because I tried to buy him. I tried to buy him in the first season when he was without an agent after leaving Newcastle. That club, I mean. I tried to sign him, but he ended up going to Blackburn instead. And in the end, we actually do sign him when in the Premier League. Oh, he's actually fallen, fallen out of favour now, and he's on sale, or requested to be on sale. Uh, I only signed Luis Suarez. Not the Luis Suarez you're thinking of, though. Not the Luis Suarez you're thinking of. Um, I'd like to have been the actual Luis you know, the Uruguayans, Uruguayans, Suarez, but probably not. In terms of sales, Rob Dickey friendly, went went to Burnley. What did he do in the league? He did quite decent in the Premier League and decent in the Championship, but we sold him to Burnley for a lot of money. And he's ended up leaving on a free to Portsmouth. So we're selling our players for a lot of money and they're not being played. We sold Fagan Walker, oh no. So, of course... He was on loan with us for one half a season in the first season. It was absolutely amazing. So we got him on loan again. And then in that January of the next season, we bought him for 3.3 million. That season after that, the Champions League winning season, we ended up, he ended up doing amazing. And then the player that 
I still hold him playing. I was expecting this. He was our best player in terms of consistent performances along with Matt Clark uh, in defence and in the whole team. And I could see, because he's not good enough in star-wise, Hastel still wouldn't have played him because of that, even though he deserved it, because he was that good. So his, his progression was really lost. And we sold him for the dead cheap to Huddersfield, who sold him then to Cardiff, where he's hardly ever played. A fortunate end to Finn Walcock's career with Derby. If we'd have had another season in the Premier League, I probably would have played him. I probably would have, you know. Um, we ended up selling this guy. He was ended up joining us. We ended up selling this guy. Also joined us to Reserve Central. Um, so Thomas went to Coventry apparently. Luke Planch was sold to Bristol Rovers, and that is that in terms of release plays the next season. Um, no one I see that we signed. We come to got on to the Marshall though in a free, uh, where he was with us a year, and then we loaned him out the second year, and then the third year he never played. Uh, actually, that year he's left. Anyone else? Uh, Key John Hoover. Uh, I mean. Got him on loan and signed him permanently in January in the next season. I mean, um, look, people lot sold. Jed Wallace apparently left, so we signed him for 1.2 million. He had really three decent seasons, mostly in the Championship. We didn't really do it, cut it out in the Premier League. So that season we were in the Premier League, he hardly played for the second season. We we're in the Premier League, and then he's gone to Charlton on free and he's finally left. Um, what does that say? Retired. So he's retired basically. You and Vissa left for Sheffield Wednesday, so Thomas went on loan again. Uh, that's basically it. And the final season, I think this final season. Uh, so called Thomas went on a free. Courtney Clark also. And Lathan Kirk. There were people who were quite good youngsters in the future for the future, but I probably never made it. We ended up signing Rico Henry. Uh, and just silver came back. Actually, it was it wasn't. No, a different the silver. I mean, we had the silver. Wasn't his name Joss as what well? Joss as well? Or was it? I don't know. We had the silver, but we ended up selling him in the second season because he was hardly playing, and he got unhappy with me, so we sold him. So yeah, he came, he came alone and now he's still with Man City. He's listed, he's placed for a goal and he's got 20 goals and 68 appearances. That's not bad. Anyone else? Uh, Luke Offord came back. <laughs> oh my god. So of course we signed Luke Offord for quite an expensive fee by director of football in the second season where he was quite good. He ended up playing a bit in the third season for Derby, or second season with us. And Brentford came in with a good offer that we sold him for. Apparently then Bristol City then sold him. And then we've bought him again this season for dead expensive. Okay. In terms of people who have lost, we, we sold, I mean. Bob Holding also left again. Anthony Marshall went on loan. Max Bird was sold at Park Exchange for 3.8 million. Um, he didn't play when we were in the Premier League much. So he obviously wasn't cut out for the Premier League, apparently. The person we did get in in terms of that was Mickey Waterfall. I'm just, I've got the in game editors, I'm just checking. 123 potential. I think we got a bad deal on that. Uh, but if we were looking to sell him, we were looking to sell him, and it was just help with the fee. Uh, Louis Sibley also left to Bournemouth. Uh, he hardly played in the Premier League much. He played one good season. He had one major season, but it was mostly off the bench, and he was hopeless. Uh, to be fair, he hardly played with Derby when we were playing with him. As you can see by that, he barely played the first two seasons and then got a good third season. Um, 
yeah, he bit of a disappointment. He went off for 12 million plus a pot exchange. So exclusively left. Uh, in terms of, do we look at release players? Yeah, let's look at them again. Anthony Marshall left. Uh, anyone else? I do not remember. So let's look at the players still in the team. Uh, we've got Daniel Everson apparently. Matt Clark is still with us. So Matt Clark, of course, was on loan in real life for two seasons, and then went on loan to West Brom for this current real life season. We then bought him in the th second season in the game for 650k and he was amazing for us. He actually had one good season in the Premier League and two good seasons actually. And then we must have got better players and his contract has, is just going to die out I guess. I don't. I guess no one would want him. Uh, maybe for 800k I'd sell him. I'd buy him at 32. He could be a really good player. Uh, he's probably still got Peter Kyoso. Who, of course, we signed for towards the end of uh, the last season with us uh, for 1.6 million. And he's had decent seasons. Every single season he's been decent, apart from that season where he hardly played. Uh, but he might have had an injury as soon as he has played 15 starts. So, he was a good signing there, apparently. Luke Offord, of course. Uh, Jason Knight is still with us. He's got 71 caps now for Ireland. He was hardly getting played for Ireland when we were in the Championship. So obviously the Premier League move up boosted his reputation and got him playing for Ireland more often. So yeah, uh, he's been decent every single season. With us, he couldn't really make it. He I, I, it, it wasn't... With us, he wasn't the main pl star player. We played him often, but he wasn't the best player uh, in terms of ability-wise when he was consistent compared to like uh, Louis Sibley or uh, Max Bird. But yeah, he's had a good season with Derby. Very good season. Uh, anyone else? Dan Lundelow is still with us. What's he done? Oh my word. <laughs> Quite a good goal tally, so... Uh, first season, of course, with us, was the third season. Uh, where he did really well with us. He did a decent enough in the Premier League when we got relegated. And then that season in the Championship, it was amazing. That must have given him a contract. And he's just been quite decent in terms of goals. And assists, at least in that first season. But the second season in the Premier League... Um, quite decent from Dalton Underlay. Um, in terms of what to do, is there anybody there that we might know? Um, no. What about under 18? I highly doubt it. Apparently, got a Afghanistan guy called Ahmed Ahmed. He's 16, has played new times for Afghanistan. Uh, he was actually born in Afghanistan. Um, What's his potential like? 120. He could be good. Uh, if he ends up getting to that potential, he'll probably be played and probably get Afghanistan caps. I doubt he will get English caps. But yeah, that is basically a look at Derby County. I can't think of anything else. Actually, yes, I can. Let's look at the results. So. First season Man U won it, <laughs> that's a surprise. Second and third Man C, fourth Liverpool and after that it's been Man C every year. In terms of the Champions things, so of course Sheffield United, Norwich and then Derby. West Brom, you know, Sheffield United again, Wolves, Brian and Norwich again. Uh, who are favourites for that? So Forest are still in the Championship, have they been relegated at all? No, they have not. But they haven't got promotion either. Um, Plymouth are probably in the championship, which is good to see. In terms of this, is anyone out of place? Salford is still in the League One, but not in the championship, I've seen. Birmingham. 
apparently are in a win league two the season beforehand and have just got promoted. So that is a fall from grace for uh, Birmingham. It really is. League two. Wickham in League Two, uh, Bolton and Notts County in there as one late in as some of the best teams. Wrexham in League Two, uh, mid table side. Stockport were recently promoted along with Hartlepool. Doncaster, who were relegated, are one of the favourites to go down already. Fylde apparently are in the league um, after, of course, uh, being in the National League North at the start of the game. Two promotions in a row, and then they've stayed up. National League: um, Stevenage, Newport, um, Yeovil, Scunthorpe, Morecambe. Saying they're in the League One, that's a really poor result for them. Harrogate, uh, Oldham, near the bottom as well. Uh, are they in relegation? Like financial difficulties still? Uh, yeah. So I'm guessing that has the help with me them go so poorly down the leagues. Um, FC United are in Vanuatu National League. Good to see. National League North. Is anyone here randomly? Hereford, obviously. Ex Football League when they were before they went bust. Halifax also ex Football League before they went bust. I think and so is York. Well, before they had financial difficulty at least. Chester, Alfreton Town, of course, close to Derby. South Shields, um, Grantham Town, Russell Olympic. National League South. Billericay, up near the top of the rankings. Houngy, or Houngy, they're promoted inside apparently. Don't remember them in the thing, as well as Gosport Borough. Western Supermare, Hemel Hempstead not doing that well, I quite like Hemel Hempstead, Farnborough, uh, what a nice flag, nice emblem I mean, uh, apparently they were promoted at one point, uh, Tiverton, they're a new team as well, obviously getting promoted as well recently, in terms of, let us see, I missed that up, Emirates FA Cup winners. So Liverpool won it first season. That second season when we got into the semi-final, we ended up losing to Man City. Um, who did we end up losing to in that final? In that semi-final, um, we ended up losing to Man City on extra time, and they ended up winning it. So we could easily have played Man United in the final. I'm still upset about that. I'm still so upset about you know getting to the semi-finals of the FA Cup and losing again at 121st minute or whatever from a penalty. Absolute stupidity. But yeah, uh, Liverpool, then Man City, then Liverpool, Arsenal, Man City, Man U, Man City, Man City. Carabao Cup. Arsenal, Liverpool, Chelsea, Man City, Chelsea, Man City, Man City, Man City. Man City. FA Community City Shield. Uh, uh, Man City, Liverpool twice, Man City, Liverpool again, Man City twice, Man United. Papa John's Trophy, Plymouth, Ipswich, Coventry, Aston Villa under nine, under 23s is it? Yeah, Man City under 23s, Burton, Ipswich and QPR. So QPR were obviously in the League One at one point. Um, and build a base, FA Trophy. Let's just see who that is. Um, so I don't know who Church won it in real life. Wow. Okay, Notts County, Solid Hill Moors, Notts County, Chesterfield South End, Boston, Harrogate, and Chorley. And let us look at the Champions League. Your way for Champions League. Let us see. So. The winners that in recent years, the first winner was Man United, that will not happen in real life, I'll tell you that now. Um, Liverpool's second season, then Man City, Chelsea, so dominated by four English clubs in a row. Five in a row actually, if you count Chelsea the year before. Then Dortmund, Paris Saint-Germain finally won it. 
Chelsea and then Barcelona. Must have recovered from all that debt. Europa League. He's Villarreal, uh, two years in a row. Milan, Chelsea, Arsenal, Roma, Napoli. Arsenal and then Newcastle won some trophies. And then the Conference League. Uh, first two was Tottenham, second was Galatasaray. Then Leicester, Valencia, Sevilla, Villarreal. Newcastle won it. So they won the Conference League, then they won the Europa League. So all that means they'll win the Champions League this year in 2029-2030. Fulham won it last. So yeah, um, very good thing. I think Derby have done really well. I was expecting them to be fair to go down and then sell all the players that got promoted. Like the new manager would sell all the players that got promoted. Like most clubs do, like say Fulham, uh, and then they just don't. And then all the new players that come in don't have enough cohesion, and then they will get relegated because of it. And then all those players will then leave and we've got literally no players and we'll be near the bottom of the championship. I was expecting that to happen, but apparently not. Apparently not. We, we've we done quite well. We're still in the Premier League in three seasons in a row. So we left the mark for foundations for the future. And seeing as at the start of the game, we are 12 points deducted in the championship, all but relegated. Survived comfortably first season. Second season was a disappointment. If you remember, we ended up getting to the semi finals of the FA Cup and losing 121st minute or whatever into a penalty. Um, and then we ended up playing in the, in, in the final again the season with playoffs, we were in third or fourth place or whatever. We ended up drawing the forward and out on the last day of the season and by the last few minutes. So yeah, uh, second se- third season of course we won it, and then we've just gone from strength to strength. Of course, the first fourth season, the fourth, first season in the Premier League was a disappointment getting relegated, but it might have been what we needed to figure out how good we are for the Premier League, and it looks like it has showed that we're still in the Premier League at this time. I think this has been productive. If you have enjoyed the series, because I really have enjoyed it, I think if I ever do a um, stream save later on after I've finished my Russian powerhouse I might actually return to the save this is in months down the line probably near the end of FM 22 game cycle like that far in advance but if you have been enjoying this series and you have enjoyed it over this like what 19 episodes or 20 odd or however much please Give it a like, one last like for this series, for Derby County, even if you're a Forest fan, give it a like, or if you're a Forest fan, you can dislike it, I don't know, it's your choice, um, you might dislike it because Forest starting in the Champions Premier League with Derby, <laughs> you never know, but yeah, uh, if you have liked it, look, thank you, if you've subscribed to the channel through this series, thank you, if you're one of these people who's thinking what what the content is going to do, I want to subscribe if he does any good content. I'm doing a director of Legends save, which is basically a director of Football Journey Man. Um, with scenarios and all that in good stuff like we did at in Zero to Hero last year. Um, so you can subscribe for that, hit the bell for not- mobile notifications. Um, there's also uh, links in the description, I have a Discord page, we've got a few more people joining, which is really good great and growing community I'm really enjoying the time on Discord so if you want to come and join and say hi uh, you'd be welcomed with open arms you can also have links to all everything like Twitter, Facebook Instagram, TikTok uh, I also have links to Twitch where I'm trying to stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday with an FM save and then if I get time on Tuesday or Thursday it might be a random game uh, it depends on the time constraints uh, I have been busy quite recently, uh, but yeah, I mean, Matthew, what's the next time I act? I thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you all next time. Hex, signing out. Bye everybody.